In this video, we take a look at the use of SQL to search for data from a relational database. So information in a database is stored in records, and we see one here. Each record contains a number of fields, and we can manipulate the data in these fields using a programming language. Here is a simple Python program which opens a connection to a database and finds a record within it. Now, most of the code we've shown you here is well beyond the specification for GCSE, so don't worry. What we're showing you here is simply an example of how it actually work in a specific programming language. The part you do need to know about is highlighted here. You'll see in green, there's an SQL command to the database, which is sending the database an instruction. It's saying, select population from the world table where the field name matches the string Germany. Now this will all be made a lot simpler if we go through a few examples. And you'll notice they all follow a very similar format. We start with select. So we're saying select population. So we're gonna be selecting the population field from the world table, but only where the name field equals Albania. And then down the bottom right, you can see the output. So from this entire database, regardless of how many records and fields it had, it would return that one single value where name equals Albania and the population field. So with this query, we're saying select name, constant, area, population, GDP and capital. So that's all the fields from the world table from world where the name equals Algeria. And of course, you can see from the output window down the bottom, this outputs the entire record. Now, note in some languages, it would be possible to say something like select star, which would be a wild card to mean all fields. But this is dependent on the particular implementation of SQL. For the exam, you're best listing out each of the fields you want separated by commas. So in this query, we're saying select all the fields, and you can see again, we list them all separated by commas, from the world table, where the name is like, and then we open quotes and we've got a percentage. Now that percentage is a wildcard operator. So it's saying where the name field is like, starts with the letter A, followed by any string of characters. We also then have an and, a Boolean expression. So it's not just sufficient to select things where the name starts with an A. On top of that, we then need to check the population field and check that the value in there is greater than 10 million. Assuming both of these clauses in the where part are satisfied, then you can finally see we order the output in ascending order of name and then display it to the user. Here you can see we're saying select name and population, so just two fields, from the world table where the name field is like A% percent or like B%. Percent. In other words, return all the rows, but only if the data held in the name field starts with either an A or a B. We can then have any characters after that, and you can see the output it returns below. Now here's one that might confuse you at first. It says select name from world where population is greater than select population from world where name equals Algeria. But this isn't complicated. It's just using brackets. And just like you would with a normal mathematical expression, you do the bits in brackets first. So let's break this down. Let's ignore the outer select statement and just focused on the inner one that's in brackets. So that says select population from world where name equals Algeria. Well, that's easy. It's the figure 387 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And that's what that inner select statement would return. We can effectively 
replace that inner select statement therefore with that value and now just execute the outer select statement select name from world where population is greater than 387000000 and that just returns Argentina. So just to recap then, SQL is used to create, delete, modify and manipulate records in a database. In this video, we've been covering how you select or query data and below are the commands which you need to be aware of for the exam.